Life is also wicked. Life is like journeying through the eye of a brutal, bloody battleground. You get stabbed, shot, clubbed, trampled on, chewed up and spat out. It can leave you scared, disfigured, or maimed forever. The course of my life was changed forever. When I made the one costly mistake, it started one fatal night when I was 16 in high school. Charles, Casper bought a new ride and he promised us a time of our lives when we get there. Ruth, are you coming? Have I ever been part of your joy trip? Who knows? You might have decided to turn a new page and have fun, like every normal growing teenager. Before we go into serious adult life, bear in mind, we teenagers once in our lives. Save your breath. Oh yes, I forgot. You said you have a boyfriend. How do we know if you have a boyfriend for real? I think it would be easier to believe if you show us a picture of him. Hey, please, it's a shot. That's a convent. No. No need putting such a simple thought into her head. His name is Carly. kind of pictures. Mm -hmm. In early days, when I didn't have a boyfriend of my own, I used to store the best looking pictures for my bigger sister's album. And I carry it about as my boyfriend's picture. Mm. I'm an only child with no sisters or brothers. You all know that. <laughs> oh my god. Do you know what she's trying to tell her? Mm -hmm. That she is not a virgin. <laughs> all I can say Yes, there's nothing you girls know that I don't know also. Whoa, look who is claiming to be big girl. If you've seen it and done it, why are you scared of coming with us then? Because I already told my father that I'll be coming home for the midterm break. And he's looking forward to my comments. Same with my boyfriend. You can't lie to them. Tell them you've decided to stay back in school and study for a very big scary test. I know they will believe you, because you're never in the habit of lying. And they all know you're a bookworm. I'm sorry, I can't just travel out of the country just for fun. Come on, girl. In another decade, you'll be married with baskets full of kids. And then you realize your life is gone, and you did eventually nothing with it. Come with us. We'll only stay a few days. I'm sorry. Let me take a stick before I go to bed. Would you like to take one? Not again. I received reports about you girls in this room. What is that smell? This is a smell of cigarette. Get up, all of you! Get up! Ah! What's this smell I'm here? Madam, what? Actually, it, it is incense, ma. Some people were smoking at the backyard, so I had to. Put the incense on so I, I, I could sleep. As for you girls, 
Look at them. I promise you, especially you, Kate. I know you are in the bottle of this all. I promise you, I will get you one of these days. All the secret things, secret things you have been doing in this room, I will catch you one day. I must get you. And you, you. Look at them. Get it one day. Listen, girls, I won't get thrown out of school because of any of you. Nonsense. Life can also be unfair to young people because they are ill prepared and they can be careless and stupid and they can take too many chances without giving it much thinking. Which exactly? What happened to me? Wait, my sister just got her. Hurry me up, we are late. I can't believe I'm doing this. My father will kill me if he knows about it. Listen, girls, what that he doesn't know will hurt him. Why are we taking the right? Just look at me, I'm almost naked. Will you stop being childish? At least go out for once. Let's go. Here we go, you guys are coming straight to the bar. Come on here. Yeah, let's have some drinks. Um. You 
go know, you go know who you must have. Put the X on the beat, and everybody dance around with the grace. Dance to the beat, up your knees and go into the door. Why are you not outside with the other girls having fun? We just arrived from a trip. I don't know about you girls, but I need to rest. I know you. It's not a trip. What is it? Okay, alright. I'm scared. I've never done anything this stupid in all my life. We are out of the country and my father doesn't even have an idea where I am. I can't believe I allowed you to convince me to come in with you. Relax. There's no need to panic. I don't see how you girls see funny in all this. By tomorrow, you feel different, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, drink this. You feel better. Thank you. What is this? You know I don't take alcohol. That is what is going to make you feel better. Try it. Try it. being in a moment so try and look relaxed okay so Ruth what do you think of our country I think I like what I've seen so far When I look at you, I feel the world is indeed a beautiful place. My name is Caspar, and I saw your picture with Kate once, and it was then I decided I had to meet you before I die. Romeo, please don't make the poor girl shy. Okay. Well, uh, let's eat, shall we? I know you don't do this, but I promise you, this one I'll mind you a little.
You are going to have a good time with you. Come on, come on. Come on. Sit there. Hurry up. Go down. We are innocent. We are just innocent high school students. We don't know anything about Casper's business or drugs. We, we, we are innocent. High school students. Please. Hey, you are doing drugs. Get inside the car. Come on, enter, enter. Come on, get in. Get in. Get in. Get in. Let's move. <sighs> the blow was more than I could take. As Lynn, one of my friends, was killed. I thought it could never get worse, but I was wrong. Very, very wrong. Here I was in jail, in a foreign country, with nobody knowing where we were. I fear what will happen to my father when he finds out what I have disappeared. He will just die, I know. At least, you have a father who loves you to the point of even dying for you. And me too. And you don't? No. What about your fathers and uncles who come to visit you in school? They are my daddies. The sugar type of daddies. Take it to the room. You are. Just 
just let her be. She's my little sister and she's not known any man all her life. I didn't know I could even survive it. 19 years of my life flashed away before my eyes and I gave up completely. 
I now know for sure that I am doomed to die here. Thank you. Put it on. Why? You are going to the salon. The boss wants to take you out tonight. Take. Yeah, 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 sharp, sharp. Do it quick. Apparently, the chief warden who has enjoyed the greater part of our youth was having his retirement party and decided out of the rare fit of generosity to invite us to his guest house to join in the fun. In exchange, we are to treat a close friend of his and make him have a great time. Isn't it going to be disastrous? This is it. We are out of that shithole forever. Tonight we make our escape or we die trying. Escape? Yes. Did you see their guns? We're talking about suicide here, okay? No way. If we don't escape tonight, I'll choose suicide. Besides, I have a positive feeling that everything is going to go on well and you're going to see Kali sometime soon. If he's not already married. He is not, and I've told you that a thousand times, okay? Man, maybe he's from Mars. Whatever. Believe me, I still feel the connection. by bringing them out of the prison because today. Moreover, it's too late. Your advice becomes medication after death. You see, you should have spoken of it before I took the drugs. But let me tell you, I am determined to take everything those your two bombshells are going to throw at me tonight. <laughs> and I assure you, you will not be disappointed at all. You will find that the girls are everything I told you and more. <laughs> be sure to tell me about it tomorrow. Come, let's go. Can you that you? I hold that to you. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No, I'm not going. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Come on. How about another glass? Oh no, thanks. No thanks. Don't be a twelve-year-old with a brain the size of a peanut. I like my men to be able to hold down their drink. So. Yeah. Ah, 
there you go. That wasn't uh, so difficult, was it? Now I need you to get into bed. Uh, Take off your clothes and give us three minutes to get into our magical mode. Oh okay? yes. Oh yes. Take off, take off your clothes. Yes. Uh, This is our chance. All the men are in the rooms with the girls. Uh -huh. What then? I brought the bottle so we could smash his head up, knock him unconscious with it. Then we can make our escape. Smash his head? Did you see the size of that bottle? That thing is gonna kill him. I can't live with that on my conscience. No. Baby, you have a better plan. Then let's hear it. No, I don't. But we're talking about a human life here. Come on. Well. Until you come up with a better plan, we're we'll stuck with mine. This is not the time for you to just start hesitating. If you don't want to come with me, then you can stay. Listen, we are not killing anybody. It's not arguable, it's not crazy. I swear, if you strike me with that bottle, I will scream and spoil the whole plan. I can't believe I'm hearing this. So, how the hell do we leave this place? I don't know how, but we're not killing anybody. Did you start to think about the guards outside? How are we going to go past them? All I ask is a little cooperation and some positive thinking. Don't put obstacles in my way, please. Come on. The guards are reality. We can't just wish them away. And we're not killing anybody. End of discussion. Oh, these ladies. Ah. Mm. But you ladies to you are keeping too long. Come let us in. Oh, honey, you know what? A good condition needs a So give up two more minutes, okay? needs some time to perfect his oh, yes. skills. Yeah? Relax, relax. Just relax. But I need you to keep your eyes closed, okay? Closed? Yes. Yes, my eyes are closed. Mm. Mm. Oh. Open your mouth. Me. Open your mouth. Open my mouth? Yes, ah. why? why? explain to the warden because he asked me to tell you to give me an envelope from the pigeon hole. One more step, I'll blow that head of yours up. You couldn't have sent you because he knows I don't have the keys to the car. But these are not the keys.
chest is killing me. Let us rest for a bit, okay? We can't wait here. The one minute you are asking for me determine whether we are going to live or die. Let's go, please. Come oh, on, I'm tired, okay? Besides, what are you still doing with the knife? to get rid of you with it. I know, I know you're hot. But believe you me, this is hurting me more than it is ever going to hurt you. I loved you so much. I loved you like a sister. But look on the bright side. Your father is going to be so happy to see you. Hmm, you look just like Ruth would look now. Goodbye, Kate. You are dead and gone forever. A new you is now born and your name is Ruth. It's time to go and claim your destiny, your birthright, and also visit your fiancé, Kalu. He will be very happy to see you. If he complains about how different you look, you can always tell him time does change people and prison can also wreak his havoc by molding and reshaping people into animals. Tell him you are happy to be back home again. Even though you may look different, you are still the same person with the same kind heart and the same love for him. Good afternoon. Good afternoon.
Did you find somebody? We had a very nosy neighbor called Donatus who sells provisions. Donatus? Donatus, is this you? <laughs> I can't believe this. You've not changed much in 19 years. Don't you know me? Ruth! Ruth! Ruth, 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 Ruth. Ah, Ruth. Ah. Chief Donat in Peking Abbey. If you say you not even talk now, I will not even know you again. No. I will not even know you at all, at all, at all, at all. You don't change, finish. Hey! Now you be this. It's called, it's called growing up. That is what happens when little girls grow up into women. I will understand if you don't recognize me. Who is in the house now? This house. This house now, Chief David, in picking nine, they, 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 they hold the key of, of this house. So if you say, you won't see him now, so go to the, the house, yeah. that house. Ah, yes. for uh, Chief the David, next house, yeah. the next, okay. Yeah. okay, okay. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Yes, Uche. And who may you be? Where is your father, Chief Dave? My father has passed away. Have I changed so much that you can't recognize me? I'm Ruth. Ruth? Ruth. She's Bernard's daughter. Yes. Am I to you? Yes. Jesus Christ. Wow. Wait a minute. How long has it been now? 18 years? 19 precisely. Hmm. Do you know about your father, don't you? Yes. Please sit. Look, Ruth, it was really terrible. Your disappearance chattered his word. And our word, too. Hmm. She penned. He couldn't survive it. And most of us are still yet to recover from it. So, what happened? Where have you been? It is a very long and wicked story. But I don't have the strength to narrate right now. Mm. And don't say anything. Where is Kali? Hmm. Kano is fine. You hesitated. Tell me, is he dead? No. Kali is not dead. My brother is not dead. He's alive. Then take me to him. I have to see him at once. Yes, you will. But in good time. In good time, Ruth. First, you need to rest and get something to eat. I'm not hungry. I'm fine. And I know you must have missed your home. First, you have to go home and get acquainted with the warmth of your house. And then get some rest. Who is in the house now? Well, no one. As I expected, your father sweet left everything to you. What if I never showed up? Well, there's no proof that you're dead, Ruth. The law stipulated that when, when one got missing for 10 years and he did not show up, he's considered dead. 
So your father ordered that if you didn't show up after the stipulated time, that everything should be given to my elder brother, Carlo. But you know Carlo, he refused to take charge, hoping that you're not there, that you're going to come back someday. Everything is still waiting for you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry for killing my father and for all the pains I've caused. Look, you don't have to blame yourself, Ruth. It was entirely my fault. I was so young and stupid and I made a terrible decision that was fatal. You said you don't want to talk about it. I mean, I understand. I might as well just get it off my chest and be done with it.
long time. The book you all changed. You felt how things were so different. There's no way I could have recognized you. What a beauty. I went through the hottest passage of hell. It's a miracle I still look this good. Oh, yeah. Jane? Oh, yeah. Daddy is gone. I don't even want to think about it. I've cried my soul out. I've cried my eyes out. Thinking about it, my aim killed me, so I don't even want to think about it anymore. Yeah. You know what? It's really nice to see you again. The best time of my life was when you were around, and father was alive. There's no happier family anywhere. When you disappeared, our whole life caved in. Life was hell. Don't worry, I'll make it happen again. We won't be family again. Okay. I promise. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to get you to give me a No, 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 no. I'll be back. It's me, my big brain. It's me. Come back. And I promise that nothing will ever separate us again ever. Okay?
if you wish, I could just take you around for a spin. And I know you will like it because the car has everything and a picture of perfection, just like you. So, um, what's your name? I'm Mike. So what are you doing working in a car sales shop? Uh, you see, madam, I've got bills to pay and getting a new job is not easy. I'll make you an offer. Why don't you come and be my driver? Okay, well, it depends on what you will be offering. How much are you earning currently? Mm. It's the normal national minimum wage and some percentage when I bring in sales. How about I double the minimum wage? Plus other fringe benefits that come with the job. Hmm, that would be nice, madam. Okay, tell you what, you take me home now. Okay. And then you think about it. Then you can come and resume tomorrow morning at 10. How hey, about that? It's okay, man. Let's get going. Hmm. This is a fringe benefit that I could keep for. Hmm. My boss is actually the devil himself who is on a vacation on earth. He almost had a heart attack when I told him I have been pushing it to his wife and daughter for the past two years. Seriously? Yes. I just wanted to hurt him just the way he has been hurting his staff for years. On top of that, I told him if he feel like pushing into something else. <laughs> and I suggested a camel. Dr. Robert. Mm, I'm sorry he's not on call today. One moment, please. Bo! Bo! Yeah? Please What's it? Oh, please, take this lady to the D ward. She needs to see the patient there, please. Uh, what's his name? Kalu. That guy who never stops talking about this girl. Well, follow me. Wait, wait. I hope he's not in a violent mood today. Oh, no. He's very sad. You know, we keep pumping him when he drags back down. We seem to get no results. I've been advising the experts to get him a real life girl instead of the imaginary ones. But the experts wouldn't listen. Are you not an expert yourself? Oh, no, but I'm aspiring to be someday. My name is Kate. Oh, forgive my money. I've been trapped in here for too long with madmen, you know, and seeing a beauty such as yours is a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Does that work on every woman you use it on? Does what work? That nicely crafted line you just gave me. Oh. Not um, always, but in your case, I do mean every line of it. You are really a breath of fresh air. Can we stop talking about me, please? I'm sorry. Just forgive me, but I hate to regret later if I see a beautiful lady like you and let you go without telling you. So... Wait, I am not going in there. The last time I was here, he nearly broke my neck. You are with me. I can handle him. There's nothing to be afraid of. You're willing to break somebody else's neck for me? What are you, my bodyguard? Well, 
it will be such an honor to guard a body such as yours or oh, let us still worship it just be behind you Hello, you have guests today. Hi, it's Ruth again. Yeah. It's you again. Why do you keep taunting me? Why do you keep taunting me? Why do you keep taunting me, you? Turning too violent. He's very lucky he didn't lay a finger on you. I would have made sure I put him out of action for a week. Are you alright? Yeah. Hmm. You handled that like a professional bodyguard. Is that what you are around here? A bodyguard? No. Sure, I can guard a body if it's yours. And I have other skills I promise to show you if you give me the chance. You don't give up easily, do you? I'm sorry if it turns you off, but I'm so much attracted to you and believe me, that doesn't happen often. Your attitude is going to make me hate you the more. I can't help myself, I'm sorry. You are a primitive, strong and gutsy animal and that's my weakness. So I'll make you an offer. Why don't you move into my apartment and do what you enjoy doing the best? Guard my body. What? Are you offering me a job? Well, it's a very tempting idea, but it pays to think of security first. Working in here, I'm going to work for a while and then retire with benefits. But with you, I can end up being fired with nothing to hold on to for just pissing you off. Why don't you come over to my place tomorrow and we'll talk more about it. Here's my card. Well. What was that? I hate it if you sing my praises. I was not trying to flatter you, I was talking about me. I've not been able to get myself in this kind of mood for a while now. In other words, I help you to focus, isn't it? That means you're still singing my praises and I hate that. So what do you have to say about the job offer? Oh, yeah, I was thinking of a better relationship than that of an employer, employee, then you go. You know, it's good for her. mutual respect. Okay, whatever you say. Wow, thank you. Passing the night with us. <laughs> so you're jealous. Come on, don't be a little girl. 
I hate it when women talk about men as if men are emotional robots. Okay, that's it. Now, listen to me. Two things. First of all, I am not your wife. Secondly, I am your boss. And so you should learn to respect my friends. And I suggest you become friends with him because... <laughs> Bob, Bob. <laughs> you are a bad guy. Ah. The other day you are just... Nice to see you guys getting along well. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. Hold on, hold on, Bob. Please make sure you bring her back in peace, okay? Come on. I will, I will. How can I help you? Are you okay? Who are you? I can't remember meeting anyone by the name Ruth. I used to live here. Here? How? When? God. This is my father's house. This is my house. This is where I grew up. Uh, wait a minute. You mean your name is Ruth? And this is your father's compound? And you grew up here? Okay, tell me, where have you been all this while? It's a long story. Ah, uh, don't worry. I have time. You see, I'm going nowhere. Okay, you can come inside. Wipe off your tears. Stop crying. Come inside. Come. Shell. Hmm. Come on, shell. 
So, what's the occasion? What are we celebrating? We are celebrating the return of the prodigal daughter. <laughs> Does the name Ruth sound familiar to you? Ah, what is wrong with my memory? Yes, you are Ruth. Your name is Ruth. Or oh, am I wrong? Yo, hi. How long have you been drinking? Oh, thank you, Kate. Oh, I'm, I'm very sober now. Your name is Kate. I know. Oh, well, I just met Root. The real Root is back. She walked in a few minutes after both of you went out. And guess what? She had an interesting story to tell about a trip out of the country during the mid and break 19 years ago. About Caspar, the shootout with the police, and the several years of sex leave in the prison. And finally, the escape. My dear, she spared out no details. And to this very moment, she's wondering why a lawyer friend like you will want her dead. <laughs> but I refuse to tell her, though I know you wanted her dead just to replace her and collect her father's wealth and all of her death rights. <laughs> what a brilliant idea. It was a stroke of genius, kids. You would have succeeded though, if not for one silly mistake. You were not patient enough to finish her off. You were in a rush. Is this some kind of a joke? Come on, kids. If I was joking, you would have been rolling all over with laughter. Where is she? Hey, hold it. Don't get ahead of yourself. Sit down, let's redefine our contract. What contract? <laughs> Relax, tough girl. I'm going to ask you a question or two, and I need straight answers. How much are you worth now in cash? How much are you worth in cash? You're crazy. You want to know how crazy we can get? Huh? Fine. If you don't answer us right now, I will have to pinch my teeth with the real roots. And guess what? <laughs> we will be rewarded for exposing an imposter like you. Now listen, you have three seconds. How much do you have in your account? How much do you have? Four million. Four million Ghana CD. Mm. No wonder you could afford to be throwing away money the way you do. Come on girl, you are sitting on a pile of gold. Here is what we are going to do. We will have to split the liquid cash into three parts. 1.3 million Ghana CD each. It is not. What did I hear you say? You want to do what? Do you know what risk I've taken to plan all of this and get it to this point alone? You think if I just come from somewhere and come and split it with me 50 50? I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Do you get it? Are you crazy? You don't seem to know your reality, huh? We are only trying to make your burden lighter. Look here. We are going to be accessories when you are arrested and we will bear the same consequence. Just get serious and let's set the ball rolling. Are you going to answer me? Fine. What's the plan? Mm. I had to trick her into going to stay in a quiet, isolated hotel for the night. <laughs> That's good thinking, partner. <laughs> now we are getting somewhere. Mm.
come in, the door is open. Good evening. Please, I want to carry the dirty plate. Oh, sure, go ahead. so much of somebody back in school at the same back to the music and the school. Goodness. That's my old school. Oh my god, I knew it. Listen, I recognized you the moment I saw you, but I didn't want to be a nuisance. Oh come on, that's okay. It's a natural thing to do. Well, I was only being cautious. It's hard to predict people's mood. Oh. Do you mind if I sit down? Yeah, of course. Thank you. So good to see you again. No. The disappearance of five of you raised an uproar that led to the closure of the school for a while. Oh, your father raised hell. Even the state governors got involved when the authorities could not see what happened to you. Many parents pulled their children out of the school too. Everything almost collapsed. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know we caused something like that. Let me take these things in the way and I'll be back to tell you more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, I will. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Wow, so real. Law enforcement. Good evening, sir. Any problem? Well, there will be problem only if you refuse to cooperate with us. We did gather that your premises is a hidden place for drug traffickers. Drug traffickers? No, sir. We are only known for hospitality and good services. Hmm. In that case, we will have to speak with the guest in room 32. Then you have to speak to my manager first and he will give you the authority to do so. It's either you have something to hide, we want to obstruct government operations and justice. And I can assure you that both are very, very serious offenses. I wish I can be of more help, sir. The manager will be with you soon, if you will wait. I beg your pardon, receptionist or whatever you are being called. Government operations, wait for no man. We will have to speak with the guest in room 32, and you will have to take us there right at this moment. Otherwise, we will not hesitate to use excessive force if we have to. I think she needs a little passage. Move! There are some men at the reception with big guns and they are coming up right now to get you. Guns? Are you sure? And they call my name? No, they said the customer room 32 and this is room 32. But nobody knows I'm here. Listen to me, this is no time to think. You need to run. Run where? Is there a back door? The only way out is the front entrance where they are coming from.
You did very badly. Why? I, I have no idea. Well, listen, this is no time to trust anyone. I know. Thank you so much. You saved my life. I'll forever be indebted to you. God richly bless you, okay? It's okay, it's okay. Listen, you should leave at once before the management gets here. They might hold you down and call the police. The man said you're a drug dealer. God. Where am I going to go to? I don't have any money. Listen, you can't stay here, okay? You can't go anywhere but here. Fine. I thought you told me you had everything under control. Don't you yell at me, kid. Have you forgotten that it's your mess that we're trying to clear off? Okay, fine. Why didn't you kill her when you had the chance to? It's okay, it's okay. Take it easy. Ah. This is no time to lose our heads over this. All we need to get in our mind is the big picture. 1.3 million a piece, that's all. Uh, it's okay, bro. It's okay. We, we need to act fast. We need to think just like her. In fact, we need to get into her head. Uh, Kate, you know her almost as well as she knows herself. Tell us, where exactly could she be? Where could she lay low to hide? Wait. There is a girl that used to work with them. Their house girl. They used to be quite close, but I don't know if she'll be with her now. Where exactly does she live? I have no idea. Oh. Jane! Ruth! Are they your kids? Ruth, is that you? Yes. Oh my God! Oh, I miss you so much. Wait, who was that I saw in the house? She claimed to be you. She's trying to take over my life. What? Her name is Kate. God, she had everyone fooled. Even though she cannot look different, she had your ring. You remember the one Kali gave you? Your memory, your kind heart and general error. So no one could be in doubt. Let's sit down and let me explain. Sure, sure, have a seat. Mm. Tell me about her. We've been together for so long. We were spiritually connected like twins. So it was easy for her to convincingly pass herself as me. But didn't she ever think you one day show up? She was not counting on it. Because she thought she had killed me. What? She tried to take my life again yesterday. It was then everything started dawning on me that she wanted me dead. Jehovah. So where's Chief Dave and the family? And where's my column? I went to the house and nobody was there. But we should have seen Abdul. No, nobody was at home. Why don't we sit inside? Wait, where's Kalu? Why don't we sit inside? Let's talk about it. 
No, Jane, listen to me. Is Carlo dead? No, relax. Oh, no. why are you holding back? Talk to me, is there any problem? Well, he's never been himself since he disappeared. What do you mean? What's wrong? Ever since he disappeared, he kind of lost his mind and attempted suicide several times. They had to confine him in the hospital. It was shortly after that your father passed away. You knew about that, didn't you? Yes. So where's the hospital? I can take you there if you want. Please do. Take me there right away. I need him to help me fight this battle. Please. Alright, let me throw on some decent clothes, I'll be back. Yeah, please do. You need him to help me fight this battle. I'll wait for you here. Good morning. Please, I'm here to see Carlo. Carlo. Oh yes, that might be the D word. Oh, please walk into that office. And go to. Yes, can I have that in please? Sure. Thank you. Dr. Roberts. Thank you. Yes. I'm here to see Carlo, please. And who are you, please? I'm somebody very close and dear to his heart. I am sorry you cannot see Carlo now. You see, visitors are getting him very violent. I'm somebody very close and dear to his heart. Madam, please. I said you cannot see him. Trust me, doctor. He'll be happy as soon as he sees me. Oh my God. Can't you understand simple statement? I said no. Look. If you don't leave here now, I'll have you thrown out. Oh, come on, okay? I'm not going to keep long, I promise. Then you leave me with no choice. Bob! 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 Tell your voice from a distance, baby. God, how are you? Oh, thank heavens you're alive. Yes, I'm alive, baby. Oh my God. Doctor, doctor, please open the door. Let me touch her. I want to feel her. I want to be certain that this is not a nightmare. Please, doctor, please. Get away from the window. He could shatter the glasses and destroy your face. No, he won't do that, okay? Doctor. It's not like that. He's fine now. Please open up the door. But doctor, why would I want to do such a thing? I love this woman with everything in me, every fiber in my body. I love her. Huh? I, I died when I thought she had died. She just brought me back to life. Please open the door. Please open the door. I beg of you. I am fine. Okay? I am in control of all my senses. I can assure you that, Doctor. Please. Please, I'm begging you, open the door. Doctor, I urge you to open up the door, okay? He's fine now, please. If you're really fine, then this is a little too dramatic. Well, you're the doctor. You can figure that out yourself, please. Stable. Fine. 
So I hope he can be without any delay. No, 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 not so fast. Let's not get over our heads here. I said he might be fine, not cured. You see, miss, a many depressive experiences this moment. He can suddenly fall into deep and hopeless melancholy, just as you have seen him elated and happy. I ran all your tests, doctor, and I came out with honors. What other proof of recovery do you need? I still need you around for close monitoring and observation to be 100% sure that you're not going to be in danger to yourself or to anybody else. You still have to stay another two weeks. Two weeks? Yes, two weeks. That's unbelievable, totally ridiculous. How? Miss, I think you need to see some of the dreadful records of patients we have discharged to some thinking they were fine. It will interest you to know that one of them actually beheaded his own sister because he thought she was planning to steal his testicles in the night when he goes to sleep. Another bent down the family house with the entire household inside. Reason, he claimed they were planning to introduce a more deadly virus than the AIDS virus to the world. So the good Samaritan did it to save the world. I could go on and on. For God's sake, you have waited for a long time. What is two weeks? Well, I guess you have to abide by the rules. You don't understand. There are things that have to be taken care of so urgently. Two weeks is too long. It could spoil a lot of things. I'm sorry you have no choice in this. He stays another two weeks. That's final. Oh, but Daye, Daye, oh, oh my God, this is Daye. See, see, you know what you do? When they come out, they will need a taxi. Okay. You get me? Okay. So get ready. You drive around, then we pick them up. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Okay. You go. You go. You go. You. Did somebody stop your taxi? Would you please move on? Oh, come on, see, I, I promise I'll give you a good rate. I know you're going somewhere. That's your standard. Please get it, get it. Mister, would you get lost before I get angry? Now, honey, for what? Get lost. What is wrong with you? Are you crazy? You know, we never said I wanted to get, enter into any car. This guy's What's wrong with him? Let's go around with this. Let's Shot him and run the risk of being recognized, right? Or if we get caught, come on, it was too damn open. This is dangerous. What are we going to do now? I suggest we split the physical cash and disappear. In that way, we don't lose that entirely. This is too dangerous. What are we going to do now? You see, Kate, we don't have to be greedy. 
1.3 million is a huge fortune for us to start up with. Dude, the moment we run, she's going to get her wealth back and use it to track us down wherever we go. There will be no hiding place. All she has to do is place a handsome reward on my head, declare me wanted. And do you think it's going to take time before I'm found? Look, if I get into soup, you guys are getting into the same soup with me because I am not going down alone. Get it? You're already short of time. When Kate showed up, your father thought she was being handed everything to her. And I'm sure she did it so well because she knows everything about me. We've lived in each other's pockets for so many years. She knows everything about myself and my family. Even if I frown or smile, she knows why. So, what now? If we can find my brother, we'll be able to wrap all this thing up. Definitely. Well, it's not how we can get hold of him. Unless we ask Abdul. And we can't get near the house too. Or we send someone to him. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't think that's a very good idea. Because if they had the head start to think, to know that you guys were going to come to the hospital to see me, then definitely they'll have Abdul on that close watch right now. And if you try and approach Abdul, it will just fall easy prey. You know what I suggest? I think maybe we should just go to the police station and make reports. I mean, if you approach them with a truck full of police, they can't harm us, and then she'll be exposed. Besides, Whatever memories she thinks she knows of you, she can't possibly know all your childhood memories. Yeah. Not possible. Yeah, that's so true. In fact, a study of the old pictures together, and the two of you now at close quarters will be enough evidence to reveal everything. Don't you think so? Yeah. yeah. All right then, um, let's do it. What is it? Can't you knock? I'm sorry, sir. I apologize. You look get more stupid each passing day. Why? You better have a good reason for interrupting me. I'm sorry, sir. There's this gentleman and two ladies here to see you. They say they have some important emergency. You idiot. Every emergency is important. What nature of emergency? Are they dying? I'm sorry, sir. No, they didn't say it. Um, they said they would like to see you and you only, privately. <laughs> Did you hear yourself very well? Hmm? Did you hear yourself very well? I wonder what school graduated you. I wonder. Let them. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Can we sit down? Sit down. Thank you. Well, sir, my name is Kalu. Kalu David. And here is Ruth, my fiance. Fiance? Marriage emergency? <laughs> you, should, you should see the priest, but not me. She is Ruth, the girl that was missing a couple of years ago. Oh, thank God you found your missing girl. Why are you here to disturb me? Sir, I am talking about Ruth, Ruth and Zeribe that was missing a couple of years ago and the father put a reward of three million on whoever finds her. Ruth? Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about the late chief? Chief Zeribe. Chief Zeribe. Oh, so that is the girl? Yes. Okay. Oh, God. Bless my soul. I am indeed happy to see you. Oh. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you. So you are the girl? He broke every heart when your father appeared on TV in tears. 
He was appealing to the whole nation to, 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 to help me find him. In fact, no father has shown a greater love. Thank you, sir. And I'm very happy to see you today. Very, very happy. Follow me. Did you fly here? Oh, well, sir, we are eager to get this thing behind us as fast as possible. I'm also as eager as you to get my balance. <laughs> there is a third person with them. And where are they? Oh, of course, in the cell. Uh, not to the issue at hand. See, sir, we want them all liquidated, including the third person. What do you mean? We mean we want all of them dead. And the other is missing, never to be found again. Exactly. I didn't know you have this in your mind. See, it's, it's not like I'm going to miss them on something. But if you want them wasted, well, Lajan, that guy, it's your money. Mm -hmm. uh, No problem. In fact, I have shown it to be done tonight. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry. It will be done tonight. <laughs> Alright, yeah. thank you. It will be done tonight. Um, yeah. So, just come to the house with evidence to show that they are dead. Then you pick up the other balance. Alright. Thank you, sir. This is money. <laughs> okay. No, should I know you're a crooked cop? No, no, come on. Move in here, come on. Come on. Very wicked. Yeah. And God will not forgive you for this. I'm not calling. Leave me alone! to say your, your last prayer.
sorry. No, 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 no. Oh. Hey, it's okay, it's Wait, okay. Shh. It's okay. Are you guys okay? Yes. yes. Are you okay? You sure? Yes. 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 It was great. He was going to kill us. Yes, indeed. He used his own mouth to confess a miracle for you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yes, indeed. Wow. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, we're fine. Thank you so very much. How did you get here? Oh, we hitched in a boot. Huh? Yeah, we hitched in a boot. I overheard him making the deal. I just couldn't help myself but to come and help, help out. Yeah, when he was coming to get you guys, we hitched in the boot so he couldn't see us. Oh. In fact, I am sure the food to be done tonight. That's okay. Wow. Yeah. That's good. Wouldn't this get you into trouble? Oh, no, 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 not at all. Not at all. I have every evidence to prove, to prove it. I recorded everything that he said here, even when he confessed that he took money to kill you guys. So there's nothing to worry about. Yeah. You've restored my faith in the police. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> you know what? In every human organization, there are bound to be bad eggs. And this is no different. You know what? It's not over yet. I need you guys to lay down and act like you're dead. Yes, come in. Yes, come in. Who is it? Lady and gentlemen. Why the long faces? A stranger walks into my house and expects me to be all welcoming with a smile? Isn't that something? Tell me, what exactly do you want? You don't recognize me, do you? <laughs> I'm Chief Superintendent John Daho's assistant, and he sent me. He said the job has been successfully done. Yes, the girl and her fiancé are both dead now. So now, as you can see, you have nothing to worry about. He also said that I should collect the rest of the balance. But he was supposed to come himself with proof to show that they are actually dead. What is the meaning of all this? I have paid him half of the money already. Is he trying to play games or what? Hey, hey, no one is playing games here. He said I should show you this. So now, they will not worry you guys again. Unless, of course, they come back from the dead. Ruth. 
Now you have nothing to worry about. I have every evidence to tie them down to this crime. I recorded every single word right now on my phone. I feel sorry for you. I could have been the sister that you never had. You were a curse unto yourself. Maybe that piece that has eluded you all your life, I'm sure you find it in prison. Get this bastard arrested. Guys, arrest him. The scars are still there, but now I truly agree that life indeed is beautiful. And that experience I had was a catalyst to fill my enjoyment of life. For it is said that you can never truly enjoy heaven until you have tasted hell. Kalu now is my father, my family, and my world. Hmm. <sighs> 